Mama! Hey gang, this is Yanni. I'm inside the belly, and today I am going to smoke some wonderful trout. Um, there's a million ways to do it, uh, but here's my way. It's fairly simple. Um, this is some fresh rainbow trout that got caught at Lake Irvine. Uh, those trout have been sitting there for a while, so they've been able to do, uh, develop some nice flavors. They've been eating some insects and foraging on bait fish. So they've got some nice flavor. Not quite the pink meat trout you're going to find out in the wild Sierras, but nonetheless. Now, uh, last night when I prepared the trout and I put it in the brine, I chopped the heads off. And I butterflied my trout all the way open. What I mean is after I've gutted the trout, I've took my knife from um, the anal point and I've taken it and made a slit all the way to the tail and spread it open so that in the smoker, I don't have to use toothpicks to keep that body cavity open. The trout will simply lay flat and it'll cook a little more evenly in my opinion. So what I've done with my brine is this. I've really pumped it up with some good strong flavors. I've got a gallon of water. I've got a cup of salt, a cup of brown sugar. I've taken a whole onion, cut it in half, thrown it in there, rather than onion powder. And rather than garlic powder, I've taken seven cloves of garlic, smashed them, and threw them in the water. And on top of all that, I've got a third of a cup of my favorite hot sauce. Now, if you like it a little more spicy, go with a half a cup. But that, that hot sauce is gonna add just the right amount of heat, and it's gonna add a real nice color to that meat. I'm going to smoke the trout for approximately two hours in my smoker at about 200 degrees. But halfway through the process, I'm going to take the trout out and I'm going to remove all the bones. It's a very effective way of removing all the bones. And then I'm going to put it back in the smoker and finish it off. So let's take a look. My first step is take it out, rinse it off, pat it dry, put it on a rack, and let it develop that pellicle skin. Here we go. All right, so here you can see what I'm talking about. I've taken a knife and cut it all the way to the bone and split it apart. Now we're going to rinse it off and now we're going to pat it dry. Got it. Five nice sized trout. But here's a tip to help facilitate the formation of this pellico skin and also to speed up the process. Um, a household fan. This is perfect. And All right you guys, it's been about an hour and a half and I've got good development of that pellico skin. It's, it's pretty apparent. It's nice and dry. There's a, there's a nice film, uniform film on the bottom of the fish. Uh, the top of the fish is certainly nice and dry. It's starting to get wrinkled, but it's there. So I've got my uh, smoker sitting at about 230. So I know when I pop open the door, my temperature is going to drop and I'm going to keep an eye on it. I certainly don't want to go over 200 degrees. I want to try and stay between 180 and 200. And after about a half hour, I'm going to take my fish out and I'm going to do a little test that I'm going to show you to see if the bones are ready to pop out because we're actually going to pop out all of our fin bones and our main bone down the center along with all of its rib bones and have ourselves some uh, boneless trout. It'll be awesome. Now I've got my spray Mazzola and you're wondering what this is for. This is actually the spray on the meat so that when I put it on the grill it's not going to stick to the grill. I'm going to have half my meat sitting in the smoker. You don't want that. All right, so here we go. All right. All right, so there we have it. We're gonna keep an eye on our temperature. We're gonna keep an eye on, on the time. Look what I'm talking about, see? Just pull that right out. Okay, so it's been about 40 minutes and look how that popped out. I've been averaging about 200 degrees. Look how that popped out now. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to go for the center bone. Okay, first I'm going to chop off the tail, then I'm going to grab the bone over on this side. I'm going to try and pull all the bones out. Let's see how successful we're going to be. Okay, I'm going to run this bone right up under, this knife right up under the bones here. Perfect. And we'll do it on this side. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that right there. That's, that's exactly what we want. Okay, so this is ready to go back onto the smoker. All right, this is all going back in the smoker. 
Okay, so at about the 40 minute mark, um, we took our bones out and we placed everything back in there. I think approximately an hour, maybe an hour and 45 minutes has elapsed. Uh, I just checked everything and it seems to be completely done. I did the push test with the finger. I've still got some very clear juices coming out and the trout seems to be a little bit springy but has some nice color. Uh, it's definitely cooked, so let's take a look. Look at that, look at that. All right, so now we're gonna let everything cool off and we're gonna utilize some of it and vacuum bag what we don't use. And there we go, smoked trout. Now I'm dying to have some of this trout and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it with some arugula and some red onions. I'm gonna uh, toss it in a nice little salad with some lemon and olive oil and sit down and, and enjoy myself because frankly, I deserve it, I've been running around. All right, so here it is. Wow. Oh, this is going to be a real nice salad. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take and peel the skin off and start flaking up the meat. Then I'm going to go out to the garden, go get some fresh arugula, and um, hopefully real soon I'll be chowing down. There is nothing like going out to your garden and picking your fresh greens. This stuff, ah, uh, mmm, peppery, spicy, tender, huh. I wouldn't trade this for the world. All right, back to the kitchen. All right, gang, well, here I've got my arugula and I rinsed and I soaked this in water and a little bit of vinegar. I trimmed the stems off and now I put it in my super whammerdine contraption to get all the excessive water off of it. There we go. Perfect. I love these things. Mm, that seems like about right. Okay. Perfect. Cut up red onion. Okay. Now I need to make my salad dressing. That's going to be simple enough. I'm going to go one to one with lemon and olive oil and some salt and pepper. There we go. And I love these things here. Lemon press. And I'll tell you why I'm making my salad dressing this way. Remember I said one to one? Well, we know exactly how much lemon is in here and we're gonna add the equivalent amount of olive oil. So olive oil, let's talk a little bit about olive oil. Um, you know, I'm Greek and I was raised on olive oil. So you, you need to have a very good cold press, extra virgin olive oil, especially for salads. For salads and for pastas, it's the only way to go. So a little bit of salt, probably about a half a teaspoon, and some fresh cracked pepper. Get your hands on one of these. There is no substitute for fresh cracked pepper. And a whisk would be great, but you know what? A little fork would be fine, but this requires some vigorous shaking. Okay, well, I bet you you're thinking I'm gonna add this to that. No, I'm not. Remember my uh, smoked trout? See how that's emulsified? All the oil and all the lemon is combined. That's exactly what you want. Um, and here's the trout. So I removed the skin from the trout and I take the meat all off. I was careful, made sure I didn't leave any bones. If I found some pin bones, I took them out. And now I'm gonna add my salad dressing to the trout. So here we have our lemon and, and um, olive oil mixture, salt and pepper, and I'm gonna throw that right into my smoked trout. I'm going to make sure that this distributes well on the smoked trout. Then I'm going to take the smoked trout and add it into the salad and toss it. That way I make sure that I get an even distribution with this lemon and olive oil and make sure that all my smoked trout has it. Okay, so here we go. Perfect. I'm going to toss it. 
So now I'm done mixing. I'm gonna put this on my plate and I'm gonna go and sit and enjoy some of this smoked trout with arugula and red onions. Opa. Wow, I'm just salivating just looking at this. This is awesome, okay. Leave the rest of this for the family. Then I'm gonna garnish, opa. Can't leave that piece. With a little red pepper flake, because I love heat. And this red pepper flake is gonna accent and really bring out that hot sauce that's in the smoked trout. Wow, huh. And there we have it, look at that, wow. Hopefully that's gonna be very, very yummy. It's time to go sit down and eat. Actually, um, I can't wait, I gotta try some right now. Oh wow, the smoked trout has got a perfect balance. The fresh greens are insane. That little bit of red pepper, it really does bring out the hot sauce in the trout. I'm telling you, this is to die for. This is, you talk about healthy, huh? This is insane. If I was you, I'd hide this from the rest of the family and eat it before they get home. This is Yanni from Inside the Fisherman's Belly. Thanks again for watching. Take care.